You're listening to Opie and Anthony. Opie and Anthony. On the virus. Serious XM. Another friend of the show stopping by to say hi, Keith Robinson. Did you tell him that Voss got uh, engaged? No, I didn't. Uh, yeah, get uh, Keith in here. We should do some news, too. There's a lot of uh, really, really good stories today. The uh, Tough Crowd alumni. That's Look at this. Hey, man. Jimmy, Keith. I know. Now that uh, Tough Crowd is a new tough crowd. canceled, they're all yeah. coming our way. <laughs> <laughs> I, saw, I saw Colin last night on TV. I was watching him on the uh, Celebrity Poker on Bravo, and um, he actually won. He won the, the whole thing last night. Table of six, I guess. And uh, he was playing some of the worst poker I've ever seen anyone play. The guy would not lay down a hand. He would not fold for nothing. He was playing like 8-3 off suit against, you know, ace-king. And he would win. The flop would come out and give him two pair. And he's, you know, he's betting like a madman on the crappiest hands. And the last card flips over, and it's one of his goddamn cards. And he, he just kept eliminating people left and right, playing like an, a complete idiot. And uh, he wins the whole thing. And no one, they said they couldn't figure out what he was doing, if he was bluffing or not. Uh, they said because he always just has this miserable look on his face. <laughs> and they couldn't tell if he had a good hand, a bad hand, because he's just always mm, he's got that face like he's smelling something bad constantly. <laughs> yeah. And then... Uh, <laughs> And he's the only one I've been watching that show for a while. And uh, everybody, all these celebrities that show up there, they must tell them, yeah, well, there's going to be a camera on your hands because, you know, you're looking at your cards. And everyone's perfectly manicured. They've they, they got these uh, beautiful nails. <laughs> Colin picks up his cards once. The camera goes right on his fingers. I swear to God, the homeless guy that I pass every morning, his hand wrapped around his gin bottle had better nails on it than <laughs> Collins last night. Cuticles all ripped up, dirt under his fingernails. They were all chipped up. What the hell's that Irishman doing? <laughs> he's finished. That's what he's doing. After tough crowd, <laughs> <laughs> after tough crowd, he had to get a gig uh, loading ships at the dock. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> goddamn guy is a mess. He's a mess. He'll be fighting Screech in celebrity boxing next. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, he is finished. <laughs> God damn. He had, a, he had a great run. <laughs> he had a great run. Hey, are you ready for next week, Anthony? We're going I to am L ready. We're going man. to LA. Uh, Anthony's doing the poker thing next week at I'm the, in the World Poker Tour. The World Poker Tour in LA next week. We're broadcasting live. What? The invitational. Uh, Wednesday and Thursday? Yep, Wednesday, Thursday. I'm in the invitational, you know, celebrity and uh, poker superstar is going to be playing, and, and I'm in it. Are you practicing? I've been practicing every night. I'm online. Gambling it takes a away. lot of patience to play that game. It does take a lot of patience. You, you really? Spend... I don't have that patience. I, no? I'm sitting there because I, I want to do stuff. I you want to play? Talk. I want to yap, and I, you know I'm the worst bluffer ever. Because you can just soon as you know I get a good ham. Yeah, I bet everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the worst. It is a game of patience, man. It's one of those things where uh, you spend a lot of time folding. If you have bad hands, time after time, you just fold the goddamn things. You get kind of. You start thinking after you fold to eight, ten consecutive hands, you're going, maybe I'll play this one, you know, because you just want to get into it. But you got to be very disciplined and stuff. And that's like last night watching Colin. It was hysterical. The guy is playing crap just to play. And then you know, someone will come on top of him and go, you know, raise him like thousands of dollars. And, and he just makes his face like, mm, why not? Slides his money in. He's got crap. And then that last card flips. Boom. It's his. It's the card he needed. We need to get him on the phone. Oh, it was hysterical. He could give you some advice for next week. The guy, if I play like him, I'd be out in a second. Believe me. Do you have your gimmick yet? I don't have a we gimmick. We need a gimmick for him. I don't have a gimmick. What, I'm going to wear like the I'll wear the spring on the eyes and the... What am I, I going to do? Wear a beanie with a propeller on it? How about Colin's gimmick of AIDS hands? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that was his gimmick. I didn't even figure that but out. But they can't tell what he's saying. You know, he, he's saying, I hold, but they think he's got to keep it. Give him a card. Give All him that a card. stumbling, <laughs> muttering. Stumbling, that idiot. <laughs> the guy was probably telling everyone what his hand was. Hold. Hold. He thought he was hold. <laughs> 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 I guess I'll play, you know. <laughs> 
<laughs> hey, you know, President Bush, you know, he's still doing tough crowd my life. <laughs> 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 I'm staying here, stupid. I <laughs> love him, love him. But he, yeah, he won the whole thing. But I'm, I'm very. Uh, I, I think my strategy is going to be really sit back and really wait for the good hands. That seems to work. I've been playing in a lot of the, uh, a lot of the table games online. Mm -hmm. Not the cash games either, like the ones where you, you, you pay a fee to get in get the chips that aren't real money it's uh, just chips and then you see how long you last and i made it i, I won uh, quite a few and I'm, I mean, I'm in the money most of the time well there's, there's professional yeah. poker players how do you know like if you enter a room can you figure out who the professional is like you walk the guy in with the big stack of chips in front of him <laughs> i don't know if these sons of bitches are like fucking kreskin they know exactly what you're doing these guys will know if you're trying to put one over on them They'll know if you have a good hand, and they they fold out of nowhere. I've seen guys like last night. I I, I came up on a hand where uh, the flop comes out, all the cards are out on the table now, and there's a chance that someone could have a flush. I have three aces. No way I'm laying that down. And the guy hits me with a big bet. So I'm thinking he's probably got the flush, but I don't have the discipline to throw down three aces. So I saw it. Boom! He turns up his flush. I'm out, you know? I, I blew it. But these guys know, they can sense this shit, that that flush is there, the guy, the way the guy's betting, the way he bet from the first card that came out, they know that that flush was there. I wonder, what was that Texas Hold'em that they were playing back in the old Western movies where they had the pistols, you know, and the guys would cheat? Was that Texas Hold'em? Apparently not. It was just studs. Five cards <laughs> yeah, stud or something. Yeah, no they, numbers you, on them. You have to count the shit. This, like yeah. five parts. <laughs> no. Because <laughs> everybody cheated back then, so I didn't know, yeah. you know. No <laughs> one played Hold'em, you know, except for the pros. <laughs> Up until recently, no one ever heard of friggin' Hold'em. Everyone, I mean, get together with your buddies. What are you playing? Seven card stud. No offense, nigger in the woodpile. <laughs> Come up with these dope Oh, wait a minute. Games. No offense, nigger in the woodpile. <laughs> hey, none taken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what the hell, Anthony? That was a game, man. Hey, hey, you could have paused that for the no offense, man. <laughs> and no offense. I didn't really mean it. You should have just said it. Yeah, don't give me the no offense just to cut so you can say it. And see what kind of reaction you <laughs> get. Yeah, well, hey, and then you could have <laughs> moved forward a little more gingerly. Yeah, Jesus. Yeah. You should have said, no offense, stupid nigger in the wood, Pa. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just slip oh, this one God right back. <laughs> you play your dopey games at your friends, but no one ever heard us to hold them up until all this and crap now, on TV. Since this has been on TV, Fat Bob Kelly is trying to start these gambling tournaments. Oh, is he? Because he's such an empty addict. He has oh, nothing. what an idiot. And he wants to invite couples over for meals. What a lonely jackass. <laughs> couples over for meals? Yeah, he wants hey, to get another couple to come over. So he's trying to fill up his stupid empty life that fat idiot <laughs> that poor bastard he really oh he annoys me <laughs> sorry sink fucking son of a bitch I'm gonna I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna see prostitutes for the rest of my damn life <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do and I'm never going to stop him. seeing prostitutes. I'm going to be happy. He I send the prostitute problem. chocolates and flowers <laughs> for Valentine's Day. I love them. <laughs> They're the only women I ever will love. And he seems to have a problem with he that. He has like a problem. He wants to stop all, you know, because he thinks his karma is bad. That's what. It, that's all he's doing yeah. anything for, that idiot. He seems to be very spiritual. <laughs> but that's so not going to help your career, Bob. It's not going to help, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, I, I was under the impression it was just another schlep comic that didn't care how many hookers they screw. No, but this guy really had this problem. He he, he came in here and talked about how he wants to get his life together, get a girlfriend, be in a real relationship. But he's got these demons that he can't seem to uh, get out of his mind. We all have them, and they don't go away, stupid. They don't just go away with the proper eating diet. He thinks if he eats right, his horror fetish will go away. I have more respect for the guys that embrace it, understand what it is, and just live with I it. I embrace it. I borrow money from women just to buy a prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> he really is filth. You guys are all uh, from the same mold. It's just amazing. Oh, I know. They're just Keith Robinson, Jim Norton, Bob Kelly, yeah. Rich Voss. We got some news about Rich Voss. Have uh, you heard yet? That idiot. <laughs> You heard? I want to see her try to find a ring for that small fingers on his head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Little baby head. <laughs> Boss called in to tell us that he got engaged. Oh, what a moron. Valentine's Day, even though he's claiming it wasn't Valentine's Day because it was 2 in the morning. Oh, he got that Valentine's Day. Good 2 a.m. at a Best Valentine's Western after Day. eating at a diner. <laughs> at, oh, at a diner. <laughs> no no yeah. joke. He ate at a diner, then went to a Best Western, and then... Uh, 
proposed at uh, what uh, 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 two in the morning? Yeah, at a Best romantic. Western hotel. Yeah, because they had to fly the next morning, so we picked Bonnie up at the airport. They went to a diner and then the Best Western. Oh. So it was like it was like an airport hotel, basically, right? Yeah, uh. fucking Ted Bundy proposes. <laughs> <laughs> the Best Western, one of those bad oh. wood paneled rooms. It was actually the place where Henry Lee Lucas committed that last murder <laughs> in a suitcase with a cadaver in it. <laughs> <laughs> Room next door, the pilot's banging some stewardess, and there's Voss proposing. And it's going to make me happy when she takes all this little uh, last comic stand money because she can use that as an excuse for the proposal to at a Best Western <laughs> when she dumps his dumb ass. Oh, two-time loser Voss would be really sad to be around. Really sad. Oh, oh uh, my wife, my ex-wife. My ex-wife she left me. I don't know why. Don't she know said something about happened. a best western. <laughs> best western. <laughs> That's his honeymoon. <laughs> the best western sweets. <laughs> Hop into their twin beds when they're done. And right in front of her, he's bragging that he got, he got a good deal on the ring. It's like, oh, yeah. He's just a man. Really he's busting he's apart those Jewish stereotypes. <laughs> yeah, I got a bargain on the ring. His friend was going to get married. Voss's friend was going to get married, and Voss actually bought the ring from this guy because it didn't work out. Get out! Yeah. That's where he got the ring. That's why he said the ring the ring box had chips in it, because the guy he got it from was going to get married, and I guess decided not to. And that's and threw not, it on the floor. Oh, threw it on the pavement. God. That's it, it, not like a bad or, sign. Or maybe the girl threw it down on the pavement after. Uh, this guy gave it to her. Voss is the kind of Jew that in 1941 would have actually took gold fillings out of other people's teeth <laughs> and made a ring out of it. He really is scum. Never again will we hey, waste so much gold. <laughs> Got it a box of chocolates from the local drugstore. Yeah. <laughs> Tried to hide the ring in one of them. <laughs> Idiot. Yeah, the little box of chocolates in the red heart from the pharmacy. That last ditch effort when you forgot on your way home that it was Valentine's Day. What's that awful brand? The Brack. Brax. Brax. Uh, Brax chocolate. Brax chocolate. The awful stale chocolates in there. Yeah, that really says, I love you. <laughs> He's a fool. He is a fool. Oh, yeah. no one shows up at his wedding. None of his <laughs> friends. <laughs> we all just tell him we're too busy. <laughs> <laughs> Can't make it. I got gigs. What are you going to do? He said he's doing it on a Sunday, so the comedians... And I know I'm going to have one of the highest paid gigs ever, and I'm going to have to cancel. Of course you are. I'm going to be very resentful and not really into it. You get married in L.A. or Jersey? Probably. Jer L.A., come on. Yeah, he'll do it. L.A., he'll do an L.A. wedding so he can tell everyone. Because he thinks he'll get all the LA. celebrities to go yeah, there. the stars <laughs> will come. <laughs> Since he's doing the Oscars, he thinks, you know, somebody will stop through Denzel and <laughs> yeah. some of his Stars. new friends. <laughs> that fan and fatty. That <laughs> Ralphie May will just be sitting there at a table with no one but himself, <laughs> eating without utensils. It really is going to be an awful wedding. Jay Moore will be throwing up something that smells like Vicks Vapor Rub in the corner. <laughs> Oh, boss is finished. <laughs> Jay's in the paper today. For what? Um, what, what did Jay Moore do, Anthony? Yeah, that's a cute little story. Uh, I don't. The, the headline is Granny Heckler. Jay Moore's raunchy comedy almost raised almost raised an extra twenty five thousand dollars for charity on Saturday, when an outraged grandmother <laughs> offered to pay that much if Moore would just shut his dirty mouth at a Minneapolis uh, fundraiser. For kids with Duchenne muscular dystrophy, the last comic standing star joked about how well endowed he was and how he wanted to bag the female auctioneer. The fed up granny finally had enough and shouted to Moore that she'd donate $25,000 if he'd shut up. He didn't stop and thanked uh, Grandma before he left the stage. That's the whole story. Is he well endowed? I'm trying to remember when he was banging that black uh, hooker. In the, the hooker, in, yeah. In the next room. Was he? Um, Allegedly, uh, the black hooker chocolate. <laughs> chocolate. Seven oh, yeah. and a half. I've heard Jay's about seven and a half. Seven, seven and, and a half. half. Yeah, I guess that, that would be. I'm about impressed right. with that. Keith I, is, and I he's doubt laughing. he is. He's, yeah, he no, laughs. He laughs seven, at seven and a half. Seven and a half. No, you you can't do that. Seven and a half is small. I think small, it's small. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> See, I knew Keith I would laugh small. at that. <laughs> Jay always said he was a grower, not a shower. Right. A, which was oh, what he always said. So. A grower, not a shower. <laughs> yeah, like if you just pull it yeah, out. Some guys have a nice, you know, it's a nice presentation. It's, it's, uh, it's happening already. And other guys, you know, you're hung like an acorn, but it grows to a massive thing. The virus. Sirius XM. This is the Opie and Anthony Show.